So, kapag i-subject natin ito, dito yung bali ng hypotenuse, pati yung ex... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. E143. So, in this video, we are going to learn about how to find the measures of the side of the right triangle given the angle and the side. Okay, so consider this uh, example. So we have the right triangle. Assuming this is a perfect right triangle. Okay. So as we notice, we have uh, two given. Given we have um, one side and one given angle. Okay. Then we are going to find this side as well as uh, this side. Okay. So in a right triangle, so alam natin ito ay altitude, ito ay base and this is the, uh, the hypotenuse, the longest side. Okay, so, or, um, kapag ganitong example, so, titingnan natin kung yung given na angle, okay, so, doon tayo magbe-base kung saan yung magiging opposite na natin at saka yung magiging adjacent natin. Okay, so, at this uh, right triangle, as we notice, nandito yung given angle natin and then, yung opposite natin, yung opposite side is directly cross to the given angle. Ibig sabihin na ito siya. Okay? So, that's all. But like A. Okay? A. So, ito yung magiging opposite natin. Okay? With this given, exam, uh, given angle. Okay? Then, ito yung magiging base natin. So, always label B. And then, of course, the longest side of the right triangle is the hypotenuse. Which is, hanapin din natin. Okay? Okay. So, since um, ang given natin ay isang angle at saka isang side, so dito na papasok, um, kasi hindi natin agad-agad magamit yung Pythagorean theorem, dahilan na rin sa kulang yung isang side. Okay? Isa lang yung given side. Therefore, dito na papasok yung trigonometric function. Okay, so sa trigonometric function, ang tatandaan natin ay ito, itong so katoa. Okay? So katoa. <coughs> Whereas the um, the sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse and cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, then toa, meaning tangent, is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay? So ito na siya. So, we have sine theta is equal to this one, cosine theta, and tangent theta. Ang theta dito, yun na yung magiging, uh, magiging given, or dyan natin yung subject yung given angle natin. Okay? So, ngayon, pipili tayo dyan kung saan nang gagamitin natin na kung saan makuha yung isang side dyan. Okay? So, as we notice, meron tayong, so, meron tayong given na uh, uh, adjacent, okay? And then, meron tayong isang angle. So, assuming ha, hanapin natin yung yung uh, opposite opposite side nandito yung opposite side okay so ngayon ano kaya nga gagamitin natin so ang hit lang diyan ay dapat given yung dalawang uh, bagay ano yun dapat given yung angle alam ba kung saan dito na function na gagamitin natin at given ang isang side para makuha yung isang side okay so since opposite siya so ano magamit natin okay ang magamit natin ay tangent theta. Bakit tangent theta yung gagamitin natin? Okay? Bakit? Kasi given yung angle natin at given yung adjacent natin. Whereas, ang para makuha natin yung opposite side. Okay? So, therefore, ito yung gagamitin natin. Tan tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, just simply substitute lang naman. Okay? So, again, ang magagamit natin ay yung tangent theta. Okay? Yung tangent theta is equal to um opposite over adjacent, okay? So, kunin natin, we have tangent theta is equal to A over B. A natin dito, opposite side natin, and then yung B natin is yung adjacent side, okay? Then, just simply sub substitute the values, okay? The given values. Okay, so tangent theta, okay, tangent 32 degree is equal to A, okay? So, yan yung hanapin natin, and then yung B natin adjacent is 9, Okay? And then, ang gagawin natin, okay, so, gagamit tayo ng cross-multiplication. Okay? Cross-multiplication. So, understood, meron na ito siyang 
ang tangent theta na at tangent 32 degrees natin ay automatic meron siyang denominator na 1. Okay, para maka-cross multiply tayo. So, yung cross natin magiging tangent 32 times okay, 9 and then 1 times A, the opposite side. Okay, so 1 times A is equal to A. Okay, then tangent 32 times 9 is 9, okay, times tangent 32. Next, Okay, bring down natin ng A is equal to 9. And then, yung tangent 32 natin ay ipa-plug natin sa calculator. Okay, we are going to plug in the calculator. For instance, paano ba mag-plug? Okay, kukunin natin yung tangent 32. So, tangent and then 32 degrees. Okay, degrees and then equal. Ayan, so, so uh, approximately 0 0.624. 9. Okay? So, yan yung kikuha natin. So, next. Again, nakuha natin itong 0 0.6249 kapag i-plug natin ito sa calculator, scientific calculator. Okay? Next, 9 times uh, 9 times 0 0.6249 is equal to 5.62. Okay? Therefore, ang ang opposite side natin ay meron siyang um Measure na 5.62. Okay? Okay, so next. Since meron na tayong uh, value ng opposite side natin, which is 5.62, and ang adjacent side natin ay 9, so ngayon, ang, ang hanapin lang natin ngayon ay yung measure ng hypotenuse natin, or the C. Okay? So, paano natin? Uh, dalawang way. Pwede ka ulit ng... Uh, Itong uh, trigonometric function or pwede na tayong gagamit ng Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So, ano ganun yung formula natin? We have ng Pythagorean theorem or formula. We have C squared is equal to Okay, is equal to A squared plus B squared. Okay? Okay, so i-substitute lang natin yung mga values na nakuha natin. Okay? So, ang A natin we have So, ang C squared is equal to ang A natin ay, okay, yung nakuha natin na value, 5.62. Then, squared natin. Huwag kalimutan ng squared. Plus, ang B natin is 9 squared. Okay? So, bring down lang C squared is equal to 5.62. Uh, 5.62 squared ay, so, ipa-plug lang natin sa calculator. Okay, try nyo lang. So, pag-plug natin sa calculator, ang sagot ay 31.58 um, approximately, okay? So, again, approximately 31.58 plus, okay, plug din natin, uh, 9 times 9, 9 squared, okay, is equal to 81, okay? Next, we just simply add lang naman, ya add natin itong dalawa, okay? Dito. So, 30, uh, 31 Okay, so i-add natin ang 31 uh, point 0.58 plus 81 Okay, so meron siyang ilan? So, 112 point 0.58 Okay, so yan na ba yung sagot? So, hindi pa dyan ng sagot. So, ang gagawin natin, okay, squared natin both, uh, both side. So, squared natin. Kasi may squared man dito. Squared. Squared. Okay? So, makakancel na natin itong squared dito sa kabila. So, matira na lang. C is equal to. So, square root of 112.58. So, again, plug lang natin sa calculator. Okay? So, square root of 112.58 Okay? And then equal Okay. So, ang value 10 0.61 Approximately. Okay? Approximately 10.61 Okay. So, round off man lang natin. Okay. So, meron na tayong value ng 
ng opposite side at saka ng hypotenuse sides. Okay, so nakuha na natin yung uh, mga hinahanap na sides ng right triangle. So, ganun lang. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay, so let's consider this another example. So, meron tayong um, right triangle. Assuming this is uh, perfect right triangle. So, meron tayong given na angle na 10 degree, 10 degrees. And then, meron tayong isang side na given. Okay? So, again, since ito yung given angle natin, doon tayo magtingin. Yan ang magiging uh, hint natin or clue natin. So, ibig sabihin kung ito yung uh, given angle natin, so yung cross or yung opposite niya, okay, ay ang dito na side, ang 6, meron siyang value, okay? So, therefore, so yun yung magiging opposite natin. So, then, ito yung magiging adjacent natin. And then, ito yung hypotenuse, the longest side. Okay, so hanapin natin ngayon ay, again, ang adjacent side, pati ng hypotenuse side. Okay, so gagamit tayo ng trigonometric function. So, ito yung, again, yung sokatawa. Okay? So, ano kayang magamit natin siya na kung saan dapat given ang dalawa tapos isa ang hinahanap? Okay? So, hanapin natin yung adjacent. Okay. So, adjacent. Okay? So, ang gagamitin natin ay tangent pa rin. Okay? Kasi meron tayong given na opposite at meron tayong given na degree or angle. Okay? So, tangent pa rin ang hanapin natin. Uh, gagamitin natin. Okay, so i-substitute substitute natin yung mga values. Okay, gagamit tayo ng tangent. Okay, tangent is equal to A over V. Okay, opposite over adja adjacent. Okay, next substitute natin, we have tangent 10 degree. Okay, yung theta palitan natin 10 degree kasi yun ang given angle. And then, we have yung opposite natin ay 6. And then, yung adjacent natin na hinahanap. Okay, so ano yung gagawin natin? So, ang gagawin natin ay, okay, again, cross multiplication. So, understood, automatic meron ito siyang 1 na denominator. So, ikaw cross natin. So, 1 times 6 is equal to 6. Then, tangent 10 degree times B. Multiply natin, tangent 10 degrees. Okay. okay, next. Okay, so dapat ang matira na lang dyan ay B. Okay, kasi yan man inahanap natin. So, therefore, gagamit tayo ng division property of equality. Divide natin both sides by tangent 10 degree. Tangent 10 degrees. Pati sa kabila. Okay, so therefore, maka-cancel tayo. Cancel natin. Okay? So, ngayon, B na lang ang natira. And then, 6. So, ipa-plug natin sa calculator ang tangent 10 degree. Okay, so, ta uh, tangent, napin nyo lang, tan, then, degree, huwag nyo kalimutan, and then equal. Okay, so approximately 0 0.3. I-run off natin. Kunin natin ng apat decimal places. Okay. So, 0 0.1763. Okay, next. So, i-divide natin ang 6 divided by 0 0.1763. So, let's gamit natin ulit. Calculator. We have so, 6 divided by 0 0.1763. Okay. So, meron, okay, so, meron tayong 
value na approximately 34.03 Okay, so masyado siyang malaki. Okay, so next, hanapin natin ngayon ang hypotenuse. So, gagamit na tayo ng Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, ang A natin, ang given 6 squared okay, plus ang B natin is 34 0.03 squared Okay, next So, 6 times 6 6 squared is 36 plus 34 point uh, 34 0.03 Zero three squared okay, so one thousand one hundred fifty eight point zero four. Okay, so you add natin thirty six plus one thousand. 1,158.04 Okay, so meron tayong 1,194.04 Okay? Therefore, nakuha natin ng mga values. Ang A natin ay 6. And then, ang, adjacent, ang opposite natin ay 6. So, ang adjacent natin ay 34.03 and then ang hypotenuse natin is 34.55 so halos uh, konti lang ang ang haba ng hypotenuse dito sa adjusted natin okay, kasi ginagawa gawa lang natin ng example so pwede naman siyang i-check kapag i-subject i-subject natin lahat yan so kapag i-subject natin ito dito yung bali ng hypotenuse pati yung a squared plus b squared ay approximately uh, magiging equal sila Okay? So, kung may point man, i-round off nyo lang. Okay? So, that's all. I hope na ako kayo ng idea.